Today is Thursday, February 25th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 35 degrees and cloudy in Syracuse. I'm James Cargan, and here's what you need to know. Just in, the University COVID-19 dashboard reports that there have been four new positive cases since yesterday, contributing to 35 current active cases within central New York. There have been 104 positive test results within the past 14 days. Based on the state's COVID-19 guidelines, universities need to move fully online if their total positivity rate exceeds 5% in the two-week reporting period, which would be around 800 cases for SU. The search for SU's next provost is underway, and the university is reaching out to its students and faculty for guidance. Members of a search committee were announced yesterday, and committee chair James Winders announced today that it will hold nearly 25 consultative sessions with a wide range of groups across campus to help guide the search. This will include a full campus-wide session on March 19th. The provost serves as the chief academic officer and is responsible for supervising every aspect of the academic mission at SU. Lady Gaga's dog Walker was shot on Wednesday night in Hollywood and her two French bull bulldogs Koji and Gustav were stolen. A representative said that the singer and actress is willing to offer a reward of $500,000 for the return of her dogs and an email address for tips has been set up. The dog Walker was transported to the hospital and is expected to recover. The Los Angeles Police Department is investigating the case and the gunman is currently at large. Coming up on Live at 6, a Marshall Street staple is back in business. Citrus TV reporter Benjamin Schiller gives us the latest on Varsity Pizza and its brand new hours. And that's all the time we have for Citrus TV now. Have a good night, Syracuse.